What are some other things you're seeing coming about? You know, big thing we're seeing right now is the continuous insulation exterior. And then the other one is, uh, is to try and meet the R values as people going to the spray insulation. Uh, and I know you and I have worked on a case before with the spray insulation. So let's, let's maybe start there as far as pros, cons, what you're seeing uh, in that aspect of it. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, I get asked this a lot, actually. I have a, a client that was just asking me the other day if, uh, you know, is spray foam superior to regular bad insulation? And, you know, there's a whole hornet's nest of things that you can delve into with that. I've got a good buddy that is a spray foam rep, and so he thinks you can make sandwiches with it. You know, it's it works for everything in all instances. And, um, you know, so the some of the, the downfalls of it, it's good stuff if you you know where to use it, how to use it, why you're using it, and you make sure that uh, you know it's the, the the flame spread properties are correct and just just scratching the surface. And I'll say some of the things that are of concern with uh, spray foam would be that it's it's a little bit finicky in how you apply it. Typically, it comes in two parts, and when you put a two part component together, it has to maintain a certain temperature. They have to maintain a certain temperature and uh, line temperature and the, the hose where you go to apply the materials and then product compatibility.